the playmaking shot creator will be patched in NBA 2K18. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Serious Minds TV, back in here with another video. And I had to come in here and do this video to get this off my chest because here lately, a lot of videos have been floating around on YouTube stating that this specific dual archetype will be the most overpowered in NBA 2K18. And it worries me because I feel like 2Ks don't see this and they're going to either patch it or nerf it somewhere down the line. Now, as you see on screen, this is some NBA 2K18 preload gameplay. I reset my my player to test out this playmaking shot creator to see how deadly it is. Now, in this gameplay, you do see me drive to the lane a lot, and I do hit a green light fadeaway over somebody in this footage. But the main reason why I feel like this dual archetype will be overpowered because of how deadly it is. It's just straight deadly because this dual archetype it can break somebody's ankle, it can pass the ball, and it can hit that moving fadeaway. It can shoot deadly from mid range. Now, with this dual archetype, I know you get the ankle breaker badge on goal. I think you get Tyler Score on Hall of Fame. I'm pretty sure you get difficult shots, but I don't know if it's on Hall of Fame or, or gold. But yeah, those badges are deadly for a shooter. You know what I'm saying? Now, I feel like everybody in their mama is going to make this archetype. Like I said, people on YouTube have been, have been dry snitching saying that this is going to be the most overpowered. You know, the big YouTubers say it, people are going to see it and they're going to be like, man, I want to do it when I play my part, so I'm going to make that specific dual archetype. And I feel like with the introduction of dual archetype, I feel like it's going to be a lot of freedom, a lot of individuality when it came out, but I can already see it now that people are looking for a way to ride. And that's how the 2K community is. If, let's let's go back a little bit. Remember in NBA 2K16, everybody wanted to make six, seven point guards. In 2K17, everybody wanted to make either sharpshooters or stretch bigs. And it seems like the way that everybody wants to ride in 2K18 are uh, playmaking shot creators. Now, and it, like I said, it worries me because I feel like 2K gonna see this. They gonna see a problem with it and they are gonna patch it. Especially when people on YouTube are dry snitching. Because, the, let's be real, 2K are the feds. You gotta be careful what you say. Because when people, big YouTubers, say this on, on YouTube, 2K gonna see it and they gonna end up patching up nothing. And that's, and that's the honest truth. Because if you guys remember in 2K17 when it first came out, if you were a sharpshooter or a stretch big, you can make green light from half court. So what makes you think that 2K won't see something's wrong with the gameplay, especially if it's deadly early on? What makes you think that they will not patch it? It's common sense on 2K's part. But I'm gonna end the video with this lasting quote from Kane Carter, Hot Damn I Rock. He said, now, my, 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 remember how I said about individuality when these dual archetypes came about. He said in the video, he said, there is no individuality if your idea of different is following the trend. Everybody following the trend, so nobody is gonna be different. So, hey, that's just my thoughts and opinions about this whole thing. I hope it don't get patched, but more likely it will, because it will be overpowered. You know what I'm saying? So be sure and like, comment, subscribe. Give me your thoughts and opinions about this. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description box below. So yeah, man. It's your boy, Serious Minds TV. And I'm out.